Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Yatharth. I am a software development engineer at Lead Square. So I'm starting this new series where we will be discussing interview questions that are mostly asked in front end interviews. So the first type of questions that we are going to discuss will be related to polyfills. So in the interview, you might be asked to create a polyfill of any functionality. So let's first discuss what are exactly polyfills and then we will discuss two questions related to polyfills so that you will get an idea how to create polyfills in JavaScript, right? I've created a simple blog for you to read as well. So we will be going through this blog one by one, like one line by line, and we will discuss what are exactly polyfills. And I've discussed the same examples in the blog as well. So you can take a look. I'll share this link in the description as well as in the comments. So you can take a look at my blog as well. So let's discuss what are exactly polyfills. So what happens is like there are lots of new functions in JavaScript, right? And there's a, uh, there are lots of new syntaxes that are coming in JavaScript. So it might be possible that in some outdated browsers or in old browsers, those functionality, they might not work. Okay. So polyfills comes in the picture now because they help browsers to support those functionalities, which are there in JavaScript. Okay, so those functionalities or those native functions or those new syntaxes which are not working correctly in older browsers or outdated browsers, polyfills help those browsers to support those functionalities. So polyfill is just a simple code snippet that basically helps browser to support all those, you know, native functionality of JavaScript or new syntaxes that are not correctly working. So that's what exactly polyfills are. So we will be discussing two simple examples that are mostly asked in interview questions. So you might be asked to create a polyfill function for the filter, right? Or you might be asked to create a polyfill function of let's say map functionality. Okay. So these are two very simple, basic examples that you might be asked in front end interviews. So we will be discussing both of these examples. Okay. So let me open up my VS code editor. So let me create one new file over here. Uh, I can give it name polyfills or polyfill for filter. So first example we will be discussing like on how to create a polyfill function for the filter functionality. Okay. So first of all, let me show you uh, how the filter functionality works. So you might have used it a lot of times, right? So let me show you one simple example, how filter is generally used. So let's say you have this array, right? And inside this array you have, let's say, uh, sorry, I've spelled it wrong. It will be const. Okay. So let's suppose you have this array, right? And you want to, uh, filter this array in such a way that you want to have only numbers that are divisible by two, let's say. So we'll simply write console.log and you want to filter it. We'll write array.filter and you'll provide one callback function, which will basically, uh, take, as you can see here, IntelliSense is also showing you that it takes three parameters, right? Value, index, and the particular array number, right? So first parameter it takes is the value. So we can write val. So on each value, we want to check whether that value is divisible by two or not. Okay, so you can write value percent two should be equal to zero. So let me just uh, execute this file and let's see uh, whether we are getting the proper array or not. So we'll write node polyfill for filter.js. So as you can see, we are getting a new array, which is showing me only those numbers which are divisible by two. So in this way, filter functionality works, right? So it might be possible that this filter does not work in some outdated browsers or older browsers, right? So how to create a polyfill for this filter functionality? So for that, you can write array dot prototype dot filter. So by this line, what I'm uh, trying to say is that I want to override this filter function, which is present in the prototype of array data type with my own polyfill function. So it will contain a function and this function will take a callback function, right? And inside this, what I'll do, I'll create a new array and I'll uh, loop over the referenced array, right? So basically by this line, I'm meaning, so, you know, when you were using the filter function, how, how, how do you use it? Right. You write array dot filter. So basically this filter functions. So right now this, uh, this keyword is referencing to this array on which you are applying the filter function, right? 
so basically you want to loop over all the elements so you'll write this dot for each and it'll take uh, as you can see in the IntelliSense also it is telling you that it takes value index and array so we want to loop over all the elements so you can write value and for all the value we want to check so we want to apply this callback function to all the values so if callback function on the value is true I want to uh, push this element to my new array right so you can write array dot push value and now you can simply just return this array cool so let's try to run this so you can simply write console dot log and then okay first of all let's uh, create a simple array you can write const array and then in this you can take so many elements and we want uh, to filter only those elements so earlier we were filtering out even elements right now we want to filter let's say uh, odd elements so you can write array dot filter and then callback function which will take value and this value should be uh, should not be divisible by 2 so you can write value percent 2 is not equal to 0 cool so let me just check it whether it is working or not so you can uh, run it on the terminal you can write node and then uh, the file name so as you can see we are getting all the odd elements from this so in this way you can create a polyfill function for the filter functionality correct so I hope you understood how uh, did we created you know the filter polyfill function so let's discuss one more example so if you also want to check the code you can also check the code over here in my blog as well which I'll be sharing in the description so let's discuss the another example which yeah which will be related to creating the polyfill function of map okay so let me create a new file it will be polyfill map dot js so let me show you first of all how map works right so let me create a simple array so const array is equal to let's say any numbers or something okay and what I want to do is I want to create a new array and I want to apply map functionality on the above array so I'll write array dot map and it takes a callback function with all these parameters value index and array which you can see in the IntelliSense as well so I want to apply callback function to each value and I want to multiply let's say 10 to each value so this new array will contain uh, the values from this existing array and it will be multiple uh, like all the values will be multiplied by 10 and it will be stored in this new array right so let me just console it in the log sorry let me just log it to the console and let's check so let me just run this file so you can write node polyfill map yeah so as you can see all the numbers are multiplied uh, with the 10 so in this way map generally works so let's create a polyfill function for this map so we will write the same code okay so this map function also is available in the prototype so we'll write the same uh, code so we'll write array dot prototype dot map so by this line what I'm trying to say is that I want to override this map function which is available in the prototype of array data type with my own polyfill function so I can write function and this function will take again same parameter which will be the callback function and you can create a new array over he here and again we want to do same thing this dot for each so basically we're trying to say we want to loop over all the elements and we want to basically apply callback function to all the elements and after applying the value we want to store it to my array so you can directly write array dot push and yeah array dot push callback function and then value so yeah now you can return this uh, array so yeah so we have created a simple po uh, polyfill function for a map uh, let me just try it so you can write const array and let me take just simple numbers one two three four and let's create a new array which will map over this existing array and I want 
uh, to let's say multiply two to each value. So let me just log into the console. So let me just run this file and let's see whether it is working or not. So you can write, yeah. So as you can see, all numbers are being multiplied by two. So that means our polyfill function is working correctly. So yeah, in this way you can create polyfill functions. I hope you understood now how you can create polyfill functions. So in the upcoming videos, we will be discussing more advanced polyfill functions. So yeah, these were the two simple examples by which you can create polyfill function for map or for filter functionality. Uh, I also just wanted to uh, tell you one more thing, like you might also be prompted to use arrow functions over here, right? You can also write like this as well, but that will not work. Why? Let me tell you because in arrow functions, uh, the keyword, especially this uh, keyword does not work uh, in the proper way. Like it does not work in the way that you expect it to be right. So that's why we were using the uh, functions with the function keyword. Yeah. I hope it makes sense. So yeah, make sure to use the functions with the function keyword in that uh, this keyword works properly. So yeah, this was the bonus point of this video. So I hope you like this video. So yeah, see you in the next video. You can give the like if you, you know, love this video. Thanks.